It's Thursday, June 10th. It is day five of the schedule, and it is the last day of classes. And try not to get too overly excited. Mr. Dwyer can hardly contain himself. And Mr. Federico is dancing for joy upstairs. I can hear his footsteps. But let's get through this day. And as we begin, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. We listen to a reading from the, same, the Gospel of Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, I tell you, unless your righteousness surpasses that of the scribes and Pharisees, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. You have heard that it was said to your ancestors, you shall not kill, and whoever kills will be liable to judgment. But I say to you, whoever is angry with his brother will be liable to judgment, and whoever says to his brother, Raka, will be answerable to the Sanhedrin, and whoever says, you fool, will be liable to fiery Gehenna. Therefore, if you bring your gift to the altar, and there recall that your brother has anything against you, leave your gift there at the altar, go first and be reconciled with your brother, and then come and offer your gift. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And we pray, Lord our God, our rock, our fortress, our deliverer, you brought life from death through the mystery of the cross. Deliver your people in time of suffering and need through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. St. John Bosco, pray for us. Mary, help of Christians, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Together we say, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. So, as we said already, it is the last day of class. It is day five in the schedule. That exams will begin on Monday, and that tomorrow we have a day of review. And tomorrow will be day six, and we will have in-person classes on the office hour schedule between uh, eight o'clock and one, and then there will be office hours between one and 2.40. Be aware tomorrow that uh, teachers will be teaching in-person students only or reviewing with, re reviewing with in-person students only between eight and one, and we'll be doing having office hours for remote students between one and 2.40. That's the way tomorrow will work. Exams begin on Monday. I hope you have received your schedule as far as exams are concerned. Once again, the gospel talks to us today about forgiveness. And once again, I say that the whole process of forgiveness is one of the most difficult aspects of Christianity, but one that we must practice if we wish to follow Christ, who has forgiven us first. And today, forgiveness doesn't even include what we have done wrong, but the gospel tells us, Jesus tells us, if you realize that your brother has something against you, do not come and make your offering, but you go and be reconciled with your brother. Then come back and make your offering. That's really a big challenge because we are asking or we, or we are offering our forgiveness to someone who has offended us. If you realize your brother has something against you, you make the first step and be reconciled with him. That is huge. And, but that is what we are called to do. Our whole life is a series of reconcili reconciliatory actions, either because we have done something to offend somebody else or someone who has offended us. But once again, we look to the image of Jesus on the cross, who has forgiven us even though he has done nothing wrong. So let us pray, and then let us think, and then let us act on how we can come to build reconciliation in the world, even if sometimes it calls us 
to make the first step. Have a good day. Nick Good morning, I'm Armando. Good morning, I'm Jason. Good morning, I'm Lefty. Good morning, I'm Lucas. Good morning, I'm Brendan Byrne, and joining me in the studio today is my twin brother, Ramon. Good morning, I'm Antonio. Good morning, I'm Shane Dunleavy. Good morning, my name is Charles. Good morning, I'm George. Good morning, my name is AJ. Good morning, I'm Matthew Pierpont. Good morning, I'm Mike. Please pay attention to the following announcements. Welcome to a new series I have to call Chris Rates This, where we go around the entire school and we start rating random things. So first here we got a portrait of Don Bosco. It's alright. When I was in my prime I could have done a little better. So, 8 out of 10. Back in my day, in the Trojan War, we uh, used this as a shield. Didn't really work out. Um, I'll give it a... 22 out of 10. Yeah, negative 22 out of 10. Yeah. Here we have um, a nice, beautiful. A nice, beautiful portrait of Mr. Moresi, aka the fox. I like to give it a apple out of peanut butter. Enter the fourth floor of Salesian High School. And now it's time to rate this cardboard of Mr. Rago. It's majestical. Something that you will never see ever again. It is something just, it's a once in a lifetime thing you can see. I give it a Mr. Rago out of Miss Landino. Yeah. Now here we have poor Bob. Poor, poor Bob. Help being held hostage by Miss Blandino. How dare she? He's been in there for like, I don't know, 10 years? Very tragic story. I, I, I can't believe that's happening to him. I'd have to give it a Mr. T out of grapes. This is tragic, tragic. I didn't even know this was here. Order. <laughs> this is amazing. That's like the best thing I've seen all day. I. There's, there's, there's no choice but to rate it a 10 out of, 10 out of a thousand. There's, just, just, no, there's nothing else I can do. That, that is the best thing I've ever seen in my life. Florida. I should take it home. We have a car, but not just any car. This is the Mr. Dwyer's car. However, the blue's not really my color. It's a little small. The not my type, you feel me? I have to give it a Subway out of Dunkin' Donuts. Yeah, it's not my type. It's not my type. Now before it starts raining, we have one more object to rate. We have the star. The windmill. A fan, whatever you want to call it, it's there. I'd have to give it um, a yellow out of green. Anyway, I just want to stop by. Have a good day. Mike, you're failing. As you can tell, 
It's a beautiful day outside! Ah! One trip down the YouTube rabbit hole and you'll find yourself watching these. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 AM Salesian videos. Number 10. Breaking news, ladies and gentlemen. The CEO of Tesla, Elon Musk, has come out with a new fragrance for, oh, I said that wrong. Fragrance. Fragrance. Number 9. Number eight. Number seven. Sweetness. Number six. So, first, we need to look for some wild animals. So, we gotta get a weapon, right? Over there! A dingo, come on! Come on! The dingo ate your baby! Number five. Alright, guys, welcome to Italian. Buongiorno, ciao! You know what it reminds me of one time? Me and my wife, we went up to Italy. Really good pasta, you wouldn't think. Some of the best. Number four. <laughs> Number three. You drop the house, it's gonna be. It's gonna so, guys, guys, I caught a goose to dip. You wanna see? Oh, yeah. yeah, oh, really? wait, yeah. yeah. Marty. No, this too. Yeah, I'm not gonna. Ah! This is the scariest thing I've ever seen in my life. Number two. I've got a challenge for you. Since you've made it this far, why not like this video and hit subscribe in the next five seconds? Number one. Th that's the face. Th that's him. That's the face that I see. That was an enlightening video. Now we know why they call Mr. Moresi the fox. Well, thank you, have a great day, and it's a great day to be a Salesian Eagle.